Hello photography fans and welcome back to another lens vid review. Today we're taking a look at a new RGB LED light panel by iFootage. Let's see what it can do. About a year ago iFootage released a series of very interesting COB LED fixtures and now we're looking at their new RGB LED panel. The PL180C is a panel with individual LEDs that maximizes the output of each chip with a special light directing lens. The panel produces a hard light but iFootage includes a diffusion screen with a sensor to control color rendering iFootage ships this kit in a soft carrying case. The kit includes the light fixture, a power bricking cable, barn doors, a diffuser, and a DMX to USB-C cable. The fixture of the PL180C is a metal frame with plastic panels and a metal modifier slot and rails. The bracket comes with a single metal friction hold handle. The LEDs on the front are covered with a focus and lens tray. The diffuser drops in from the top by unlocking the modifier bay and lifting up the cover. There's a tiny switch on the bottom here that gets activated when the diffuser is installed. The panel is programmed to adjust for the color deviation created by the diffuser. The back of the unit features a plastic cover with two vents on the sides. There's a battery mount on top and a screen with controls on the bottom. This menu screen is probably the only part of this light that's not great. It lacks contrast and depending on the angle, it can be really hard to see the info displayed. I really have to make a special mention about this power brick included in the kit. For easy mounting, iFootage included a V-mount release plate on this brick together with a cable, giving the option to attach the brick to the back of the light or hang it off the stand. Good thinking. The panel color temperature ranges from 2700 Kelvin to 10,000 Kelvin, but there's also an option on the main screen to turn on the extended mode from 1400 Kelvin all the way to 20,000 Kelvin. The panel is programmed with 20 customizable RGB effects. In the menu options, there are different fan settings. The two fans are pretty quiet as is, and by default they are set to auto mode. And the other two settings are quiet and ultra quiet modes that limit the panel output to 70 and 50% respectively. You can also control the panel through the iFootage Lumen app. It allows to create projects, save presets, and offers multiple color selection modes. Fine-tuning the light settings and gradual changes in the color and intensity are also supported. The app works with all of iFootage light fixtures, but we did have to reset the Bluetooth on the older lights for them to show up on the list. There's a new lighting diagram feature in the app that allows you to take a photo of the scene and drag in lights from a list of connected fixtures and drop into position on the photo. This is really useful when operating multiple lights since the diagram helps the operator keep track which light needs to be adjusted. One of the main selling points of this panel is the battery option. We tested it with our 230 watt battery and we got over two and a half hours of runtime at full power. Our 99 watt hour battery gave us about an hour. There's another portable power option for this panel through USB-C with power delivery. We tried it with multiple power banks and it worked seamlessly. Now somebody needs to come out with a V-mount power bank or figure out a generic mounting solution for different size power banks. Since this is a portable light, we thought we'd take it outside and test to see how it does in a daylight shoot. It's not very powerful and usually we would opt for a COB light with a reflector to get the most output, but iFootage claims that their lens design projects the light, increasing the output up to three times. PL180C is small enough to keep pretty close while keeping it out of the frame. For tight shots without the diffuser, it does a really good job as a fill light. We tested the panel's intensity and color accuracy at 3200 Kelvin and 5600 Kelvin from one meter away and we got some really good results. In conclusion, true to iFootage fashion, the PL1 ADC is a very innovative panel. It's lightweight, well built and gives off plenty of light in the studio and even in daylight. The only thing we could ask for is a better screen, but being able to adjust the light settings in the app, the screen is definitely not a deal breaker. As for pricing, iFootage sells the PL1 ADC for $330. And that is it for our look at this iFootage RGB LED light panel. Go check out the full review on our website at lensvid.com, subscribe to this channel, and come back for more videos. We'll see you in the next one.